Hello and welcome to this Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. I will show you how to draw spirals in the material editor. And let's start by opening the content browser first. I will create a new material and in order to do that I will right click in the empty space and click material here and give it a name and double click it to open and it opened in my other monitor so I drag it here okay we will be using the plane mesh which is provided with the editor and we also need an unlit material and now let's start with adding some nodes first we will add a vector to radial value material function which creates a radial coordinate system it takes UVs or something else as the input I will use a texture coordinate for this example and let's see what that looks like without any modification so as you can see we have a black point at this corner of the square which is which means we have zero for all the components at that point and we actually need the black or the zero point and we can also call it the origin maybe at the center of the square so in order to do that we will subtract a vector and let's connect this to A and we will create a two component vector by holding down two on the keyboard and left clicking okay so we need to give this 0.5 in both components now we have zero at the origin we have minus values here so it also appears black and we will connect these guys to the input of the material function Oops, sorry okay and we will connect the output like this now this may look a little bit confusing but it will be clear when I mask the components it has two components by the way red and green and the red component is the angle it is the angle related to this axis so as we rotate our line around this point which is our origin like this the gray value changes from white to black and the second component is the radius simply which means it starts as zero at the origin and increases as it gets further away and it gets 0.5 at this point at the center of this edge and at the corner it it is something like 0.7 and I will start by creating some concentric circles first and in order to do that I will create a sign node and we have 0.5 at the edge as our output material function and the sine has a period of 1 so we get half of the sine curve the positive half here and as we drop down our period value we get more circles and in order to convert these circles into a spiral we need to cut these like this and connect each of the circle to its outer neighbor let's say this is of course a, a little bit of a simplification but you get the idea and 
while it may sound a little complicated it's actually pretty simple and you will see when I create the required nodes and we will get the angle node and just add these together now we have some spirals actually we have 10 spirals and in order to drop down the count of the spirals we will multiply this by a small number now I'm holding M on my keyboard and I left click and by small number of course I don't mean zero so we need something positive and actually if we give the same value as the one we entered here we get a single spiral and now what can we do with this spiral we can make it rotate for example which is pretty simple again we need a time node and we will multiply it with some small number and add it to the value which enters the sign node okay so we have this and it's rotating but we can introduce more parameters one of which is a parameter which controls the thickness of the spiral and that would be introduced into this component let me create some space first and this one is a simple multiplication actually and as you can see we have different thickness okay it's changing like that and we can also change the thickness as the angle changes maybe and we will need a power node for that one it will take base as the value as the component and the constant as the exponential value and as you can see it gets thinner as it gets to closer to the center okay the good thing about these kind of spirals or anything you create like this in a mathematical way is that it doesn't require any textures it has infinite resolution or its resolution is limited by the display resolution and it can be edited in the material editor its shape can be edited and stuff like that and of course additionally it's pretty fun and as a final thing final parameter or feature I should say you can invert this component using a divide node and we will introduce a constant here which will give us something like this but when we give it a very small number okay not that small now it looks as if we are traveling through a tunnel which has a spiral texture to it and 
I think this is all I will cover in this video. I hope it's useful for you and thanks for watching.